U.S. President Barack Obama has signed the defense bill despite serious reservations by critics over the handling of terror suspects. The new law means any, any, any person can be detained without charge. Without charge. He's also brought into force the latest round of tough sanctions against Iran. This last week, the U.S. Congress passed a bill uh, which repeals a classic comitatus, which means that they, we have now uh, institutionalized and codified uh, martial law. Martial law. Martial law. FEMA is fully activated. FEMA is fully activated. FEMA is fully activated and is coordinating with state and local officials to support uh, these regions as necessary. Uh, and let me just stress uh, that if people are told to evacuate, do as you are told. Do as you are told. It's all there. All the government documents, all the government admissions, a civilian inmate labor camp program run by the army, where they're at, all the details down to how they're going to break the families up and where the children go and the forced inoculation. Right now, the, the battle against uh, terrorism involves all of us. Everybody in this country is a potential terrorist. And the words that they use in there to bring everybody in as a potential terrorist is any associated forces, which means that if you happen to visit a website, happen to attend a meeting, happen to do a, one association, you can be accused of being a terrorist. And the bill says you have no right to a lawyer. They've been abusive of this for many years, but now it's been codified. And this president, just about a year ago, announced that some of these bad people, even though they're American citizens, don't deserve even charges, that they can now be assassinated. That they can now be assassinated. That they can now be assassinated. But when the president can kill whoever he wants, then he's not a president anymore, he's a king. The president can kill whoever he wants, and then he's not a president anymore, he's a king. <laughs> The Nobel Peace Prize winner has just announced and authorized that he has told the CIA that it can assassinate American citizens in direct violation of the Constitution's due process clause, in violation of federal law, and in violation of treaties to which the U.S. is a party. The due process clause to the Constitution states that no person, whether they're overseas or in the U.S., may be deprived of life liberty or property by the government without due process of law, which means a jury trial. Are you prepared to take the oath, Senator? I am. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do I solemnly swear. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. That I will execute the office of President to the United States faithfully. That I'll execute. That I'll execute. That I'll execute.
told the CIA that it can assassinate American citizens. FEMA is fully activated. Everybody in this country is a potential terrorist. <laughs> And U.S. President Barack Obama has signed the defense bill despite serious reservations by critics over the handling of terror suspects. The new law means any person can be detained without charge. He's also brought into force the latest round of tough sanctions against Iran. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The future of Egypt will be determined by its people. It's also clear that there needs to be a transition process that begins now. The United States and the entire world continues to be outraged by the appalling violence against the Libyan people. Going forward, we will continue to send a clear message. The violence must stop. Muammar Gaddafi has lost the legitimacy to lead and he must leave. President, I pledge to bring the war in Iraq to a responsible end. Today, I can report that as promised, the rest of our troops in Iraq will come home by the end of the year. After nearly nine years, the America's war in Iraq will be over.